There's a lot to like with Bijan Robinson, obviously. And even this part of the play. Nice overhand approach to a wide route at his shoulders. Catches it over the shoulder. Overhand technique, attacking the ball early. But here's the part that even Saquon Barkley still struggles with at year four. And that's when you are in the open field and it's a second and ten. And you're thinking, let me go for the big play. Let me see if I can get outside to the boundary. I have a bl blocker heading downfield to the safety. I can hit up the sideline. I might break this play 70 yards. Okay, fine. That sounds great because of his speed, his power, his agility. But you have to know your limits, even as good of an athlete that B. John Robinson is. You have to understand that when you have a defender cutting off this outside and you've headed downhill already, look at this, catches the ball, cuts right there. Right there, he's setting up to go downhill and then try and cut it outside. He's trying to draw this man in. But you've already been running outside and then when you make this high acceleration move inside and try and plant and stop and then make a 90 degree turn to the outside, low odds of success even for Bijan Robinson because that cut right there is a tough cut a 90 degree cut heading downhill slides ends up with a yard on a play that he should have gained at least five right here if he just cuts downhill right here and accelerates through he probably gets hit by the linebacker probably gets hit by the cornerback he probably gains five to seven yards on this, though, with his body lean, with his momentum downhill. And if he breaks these tackles, because possibly he runs through some of the reach or wrap here of the defensive back who might miss the angle, or the linebacker, and this happens a lot, linebacker hits some of Robinson but hits more of the defensive back, ends up canceling out both tackle attempts, and he ends up running into the open field where he picks up a block. At worst, he gains five to seven yards. Here, at best, he gains 70, but at worst, we see the worst right there, one yard. So these are the types of things that Saquon Barkley does. It has to get better at even in year four in the NFL. Bijan Robinson being mentioned in the same company is pretty nice from a draft status perspective, contract perspective, but in terms of being effective on the field when you watch the guy on film, this is the type of thing you want to see him improve upon because he's an excellent young back in many respects. But you want to see him become more mature with decision making because it's that reliability factor. Keeping the playbook open so that it's not third and nine, third and eight, and instead being third and four, third and three, third and two. That keeps the playbook far more expanded for the Texas offense, helps the passing game out, keeps drives alive, and it's not all boom bust for you. And that's the type of thing you want to avoid is boom-bust behavior. That's boom-bust behavior. This is another good example of Robinson just needing to be more mature with his decision-making in open space. Works underneath here. Here you go. Three defenders. Stay with your first move. Stay inside. Just work inside. Work across the middle. If you get wrapped up for a shorter gain, fine. Or head downhill here. But instead of trying to go inside out on this play, you know, because when you do this, when you go inside out on a play like this, look at all that space. You had all that space right there. Take what you can get. The defender's well outside of you. If you understand where you are during the route, he has a chance to survey this space. Know where you're going to go before you catch the ball as opposed to trying to make a, a bigger play with a lower odds threshold right there. That's the thing that he has, again, just has to get better at is understanding there's the open space, the linebackers are dropping, take that. Take the ball, get downhill. If you get wrapped by these guys, fine. You still got more positive yards than trying to go for the big play to the outside when a defender's in good position. Just understanding how to manage the game. Help your offense. Try not to go for the low odds proposition every time. Certainly there are situations where you can go for this, but you know, more often than not, 
help your team out. This isn't a must-win situation for him. This was more of a maximize your yardage, help your team with the drive. One of the things that I enjoy about Bijan Robinson's game is his ability to change direction and with moves in succession. And this nice little zigzag move here is a good example of that. You're going to see here the penetration by the defensive tackle right up here, up the gut. And what I love here, he takes a nice little hop right here, opens the toe, takes a second plant, and watch him lift that back foot high. See how that back foot was lifted high enough to avoid the defender's shot for his lower leg getting that back foot high is a good thing you want to you want to be able to get your feet high to avoid the trash of a defender right there and then he's able to flip his hips again to be able to point that toe one more time and turn downhill accelerate past the linebacker and then get into the secondary with the safety wrapping up here and gets a nice gain out of this play by being able to Press downhill, even while he's seen the defender here, to be able to just take a couple of steps, open the hips, lift that back foot up high enough to avoid the defender's reach, plant, flip the hips again, accelerate, positive yards. Here's another thing that you could see where Robinson will hopefully improve as he continues his career with Texas and in the NFL. And it's these types of plays where you have kind of a designed play where everyone kind of isolates the defenders to one side and you go out the back door here. Now, when he makes this cut, see how he veers all the way in towards that safety and then has to make a second cut to try and avoid him? You'd rather have him scrape these blockers. And what I mean by that, and you see Raheem Mostert do this very well, is you head downhill, you press that edge, and then you slide and get as close to these blockers here, your tackle and your wide receiver as possible so that you can stay downhill off of them and force that defender to have try and take an angle on you where he has to wrap and roll rather than actually hit you square on. And that's the thing. If he can learn to scrape by his blocks and stay downhill, he's going to maximize his yardage potential against the high safeties on the side of the field rather than having to deal with a defender at the second level. And so this is something that he can get a little bit better at too, is learning how to scrape those blocks and really come downhill off of them and maximize the space that he has here. And this is something that he should see pre-snap. I mean, these are where his defenders, this is his low safety right here. He has two defenders who are further away, either based on width of where you're going to be coming through the hole, or at height. And he needs to scrape through that so that he can maximize that space on his left rather than veer right and then have to slow down to make a cut and make that move. Some of the things that I like the most about Bijan Robinson's skills, he has great hip flip, he lifts his feet up high, he reaccelerates well, and you can see that on this play really in succession. And he makes moves in succession very well. He can create bounce and cutback lanes well. I mean, this is a this is a gap play. You're going to see it at the beginning here. You're going to see the pulling lineman to the right. He works towards that right, sees everything getting cut off at the line or a little bit behind it, makes that little plant, opens his hips, lifts his near side feet high, gets that knee high up there to avoid the trash at the bottom there, flips his hips, accelerates, and look at that clean lane out there. Really nicely done. We're going to take a look at it from this angle here. Coming from the end zone view. See how he's able to open his hips like that. He plants inside. Nice high knee lift. Allows him to swivel his hips back to the outside. Well done. 